Oh my god, grab the pot. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. We literally... Okay. No, no, we are not quick dropping, buddy. Get him off of me. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. I love this, bro. I love the flopper, man. So, let's be careful with how we manage our situation right now. Um, That was a god apple. Yo, what is going on, guys? Mel Knight here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys back to another video on the Sage PvP Network, and we're currently here for another Squads SUTW, and guys, this map, we're going to be doing Living in a Pro Catcher, which is a series I've never seen anybody do before, and a lot of you guys might be a bit confused right now, because instead of actually living in the faller, we're going to be living in the huge glass screen, and we're going to be making it at least, like, four thick, or, okay, you know, maybe that was, like, a poor choice of words before, wide guys overall guys this should be a lot of fun to do and this should be a very creative idea but anyways if you guys are still confused you guys will see what i mean by the time i finish my base but anyways guys if you guys are going to enjoy today's episode make sure to go ahead and nicely like the video because it would mean the world to me and if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to go ahead and do the command slash redeem mel knight if you guys hop on the CHPP network and make sure to go ahead and copy yourself some mel knight keys as well as the mel knight bundle but anyways guys that's gonna be it for the intro and i'll see you guys once we get straight into the episode Alrighty, boys, for today's SOTW, let's just go ahead and start off by going to spawn right now because I want to go ahead and nicely open up my keys and my reclaim, which I still haven't popped already, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do slash staff and slash spawn, you know, just for just for the freaking memes of it, guys. Okay, you know what? That probably wasn't wait. Um did we even? Oh, wait, we didn't even freaking slash spawn with slash staff. Okay, you know what, guys? We didn't abuse. Just ignore that we did that to begin with, guys. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pop our reclaim right now so we can go ahead and open up our crates. We are gonna go ahead and start off with the spooky keys that we got from our slash redeem. So let me go ahead and open it up, guys. And it looks like we got some rage abilities as well as some time warps, which is pretty good overall. We probably don't need the flare keys, mythic keys. We'll keep the OP keys and the legendary keys because that gives us prot 2 and sharp 2. But the next crate we're gonna go ahead and open up right now is the Mellow Knight crate, which is the best crate in the game, guys. And it looks like we got some OP goodies such as armor, swords, and yeah, we actually have a full set right now. And it looks like we got some Mellow Knight Reapers as well. But we're gonna go ahead and actually go back to our base right now. And oh wow. Oh wow, I just realized we didn't set our F home. So I will bring you guys back once I make it back to my base. We made our way back to our base, guys, and the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and actually spam open up our flares right now on one block, and there we go, guys. It looks like the chest is actually fully, um, actually full right now. That was a bit weird to say, guys. We actually have one more spooky flare, so let me go ahead and actually open that up, and wait, what? Can we not open it up? Okay, there we go, guys. Let's see what we can get, and boom, it looks like we got some more partner items, but for the time being, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and actually store my items there, and and it looks like we just got two more spooky keys. We're gonna go ahead and actually get started on our follower right now because I want to get started on working on the base as soon as possible. And the thing, guys, is that we're not gonna be living in our fall trap, but rather we're gonna be actually living in the pearl catcher, which you guys will see what I mean by the time we actually build it. But yeah, let me go ahead and get started and I will bring you guys back once I get done with terraforming the claim. To give you guys an update clip, I went ahead and actually outlined my claim, and I also got bedrock alongside my borders, so it can actually signify that this is actually my claim, guys, and if you guys- Oh my god! Big shouts to Nyla or Nylee, I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, as I just showed you guys, I went ahead and actually outlined my claim, which the tedious part about this, guys, is that I'm gonna have to clear out my entire claim now, which I'm probably gonna do towards the end of SUW, because I wanna get started on the main base, which is the Pearl Catcher, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and i will bring you guys back with some more update clips to give you guys another update clip i went ahead and actually finished the infrastructure of the pearl catcher guys and i want to go ahead and show you guys the magnitude of it which is the reason why i'm currently in staff mode right now guys but anyways as you guys can see our pearl catcher is about 50 blocks wide because our claim is 50 blocks wide so it should be about like 46 to 48 and it is currently four blocks um wide in length so we actually have a two by two space to actually work with guys so that shouldn't be too bad guys but the thing about our base guys is that we're only 
only going to be able to place one layer of chest because this is only too wide in the inside and I just did that so I can keep like the authenticity of a pro catcher and if I was to compare this to any series I've done before this is very similar to the living in the anthill series I did because it was a huge rectangular prism on top of a fall trap but overall guys this is about like 10 times bigger than the last one I did I'm just hoping this claim over here does not make a pro catcher of their own facing um south or north but anyways guys I will bring you guys back if I have any more update clips. Alrighty boys, I hate to do this right now guys, but I'm currently gonna go ahead and actually head out to play some basketball So we're gonna have to postpone SOTW by a bit guys And I'm most likely gonna get set up off camera just so we can go ahead and get straight into the PvP action But to give you guys a bit of a rundown of how my base is gonna be looking like guys I am gonna be making multiple layers of these three high areas where I can put a lot of chests and stuff The first layer is gonna be dedicated purely to trapping and fighting people in my base and big shouts to Sigma because he just bought the melonite kit which i really really appreciate guys honestly you guys have been going ham with the keys lately which is honestly crazy and i might have to give out an olympus rank soon guys a freaking permanent olympus rank once again guys i'm really sorry about that but i will bring you guys back once scw is most likely over Holy crap guys, big shouts to DrampQQ guys, he ended up buying the Melonite keys and that is a crazy spam guys, times 40, bro big shouts to you man Dram, I love you my man. Alrighty boys, it is now that time of day, we are now finally fully set up guys, it's been a couple of hours since the last clip and it looks like J8CF actually snowballed someone into his base, but anyways guys, let's just go ahead and start off with the base tour, and as you guys can see right now, I might as well get into staff mode just so I can give you guys a better perspective, we went ahead and actually moved all the chests into the main base, I am actually really digging the look guys, and I actually increased the overall glass height by about 5 blocks, so it's now at Y level 100. We also have four separate different layers guys as you guys can see the first layer is dedicated to trapping and peeping The second layer is dedicated to where the chest room is and where all like the armor storage room is Basically all the necessities that I need and then the third floor is where I'm gonna be keeping all my pots and just random loot And the fourth floor is another PvP area guys But yeah, that's basically it in terms of um what the layers are for But let me go ahead and actually show you guys how much items I currently have and if I go ahead and actually check my partner items chest guys We are literally Really freaking loaded guys we almost have a double partner items we have a ton of valves which I ended up throwing away most of them and overall guys we're looking very good on every department we have a lot of swords a lot of pearls a lot of crapples and a lot of sets overall and we also are doing pretty good on the pots department or actually I think we're quite um yeah we're actually lacking in the pots department right now which honestly shouldn't matter all too much because we have all of our kits right now so yeah guys that's basically it for the base or actually never mind that is not it for the base store we actually left out the most important part guys we went ahead and actually filled up an entire claim with hoppers placing every individual hoppers was like literally pure hell to me guys and we have a really big pyramid of uh, chest room right now going on guys but yeah guys that's basically it for the base tour our foam is currently set inside the base but anyways guys let's just get straight into the pvp action we currently have our first contestant at our base guys it looks like jhcf wants to run in so we're gonna go ahead and actually let him in right now and there we go guys we only have okay maybe strength isn't the best item to use right off the bat unless okay he used the insanity so we should be be careful yeah we need to be careful right now oh my god grab the pot okay there we go oh wow we literally okay no no we are not quick dropping buddy we're gonna go ahead and actually grab that as well because that is another insanity that we can use on this guy um what is he Okay, I'm not even using any partner items right now. We're literally just fighting him normally like a vanilla PvP server. I mean, we could go ahead and just keep fighting him because it seems to be going pretty well for us. Come on. Come on, drop. How are you not dead? How are you seriously not dead? Oh my god. Okay, if we're gonna go ahead and actually use a rage right now. Fight me, fight, fight me right now. Dude, you gotta fight me. Fight me. Fight me, fight me, fight me. Please, please, please. Oh, we barely got any strength for sure. Oh no. Okay, we gotta use that. Come on. There we go. Actually, we got 10 seconds of strength. We take those. We take those. Okay, come on. Come on. Dude, we're literally comboing this guy. Come on, buddy. I know you wanna drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, what can we use now? We can go and use this. There we go. Get him off of me. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. I love this, bro. I love the flopper, man. It's so good. And we're gonna use the focus mode right now. Come on. Come on. Did we use the focus mode? Is that a god apple? No, I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and actually crapple right now because we have extra absorption. Um, did he actually use that? I don't think it went through. No, no, no. It definitely didn't, dude. There's no way that actually went through. And there we go, guys. It looks like we just dropped a partner on the freaking Sage PP network. GG's, my man. GG's in the chat. 
You know what, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and just let this guy in right now. Old booty, run in, my man. Run in. I will literally... Okay, there we go. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and actually use a risky mode to begin with this. Um, come on. Please get me low, or you can actually do that as well. You know, that's perfectly fine. Come on, let me use that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, wait, how is he not dropping? We should have killed him. Okay, come on, bro. We got to get our inventory organized because if it gets clogged, we are... Okay, he used the insanity, guys, so we're going to go ahead and use one of our own. We should have it for a time longer or a couple seconds longer. Oh my god, we're still doing the freaking risky mode as well. Let me go and use that. Come on, come on, drop, buddy. Oh my, how is he not dead? How is this guy genuine? Okay, he's trying to use my partner item, but my partner item is pretty garbage. I'm not gonna even lie, guys. That 25% chance is literally nothing, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, die. 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 Oh, wait. That actually hit. Um, shoot. Okay. Um, that could have been bad. Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second. Let me go and get this out. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, he's gonna use that on me, guys. So we're gonna have to use the uh, immortal mode so we can actually heal back up to our health. And we're gonna no, no, we can't use it yet. Eleven seconds, okay? That that's perfectly fine with me. You know, I I, I don't care all too much. We only have four pots, which is a bit of an issue to say the least, guys. So let's be careful with how we manage our situation right now. Um, that was a god apple, so we're gonna go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, you can pearl that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and head this way. But yeah, buddy, we we did not deal with god apples around. Okay, you know what? If I do this, okay, no, no. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's be careful. Yeah, that was a god apple. He still has regen particles right now, guys. What's your plan? You want you want to run in? You want to run in? Okay, there we go. Yup, 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 and there we go, guys. Oh my god. Let's freaking go, guys. We literally play that so well right now to the point where that actually benefited us. Um, what can we use right now? What can we use? What can we use? Um, we might actually have to use our god apple. Yeah, you know what? We might actually have to use our god apple. You know what? Okay. I'm gonna go and use it right now. And there we go. Come on. Come on. Fight me, buddy. We're in a gang fight. Yeah, no, no. This guy's dead. Buddy, yeah, no. The rage ball isn't gonna help you in this situation, my man. Come on. Come on. How is he not dead? Wait, it, does it last actually that long? Come on, okay. He's pressing the upside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We should be able to use the insanity by now because the cooldown is really, really low, guys. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, okay. Okay, you're gonna keep going up, okay? You know, that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, whatever. Whatever, you know, that. that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna use the insanity right now. Come on, come on. Oh my god, dude. He has to be low on pots because... I got, yup, there we go, guys. I was about to say, man. If this guy had any more pots, dude, he was literally a G. I'm not all too sure if anybody wants to run in, but my gates are open to anybody to run in, guys. Hopefully, we do not- Oh, what? Um, uh, I guess someone just died in my follower. This guy just literally went sicko mode on him. Um, but yeah, that was a good pick indeed from that guy, bro. You want to run in? I I'm so down to let you in right now. Nah, I don't think I really want to get 2v1 outside of my base, but yeah. Well, boys, on that note, that is going to be it for the first episode of the Living in the Pearl Catcher series. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and nice and smash the like button, and if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you guys are planning on logging on to HPP.org, make sure to go ahead and do the command slash redeem Mel Knight on the squad's realm to get some seasonal keys as well as some other goodies as well, guys, and make sure to go ahead and copy yourself some Mel Knight crates as well as a Mel Knight bundle, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one adios